Something like this was bound to happen, wasn't it? Let's be honest. Because on shows like This Morning, there is so much talking and so much opinion. It can't all be right. But my big problem here with what you're about to see is that this opinion is also perhaps medical misinformation that could lead to someone, if taken the wrong way, becoming seriously ill. And that's what everyone's concerned about. Um, Alison, what, um, what would you like to ask Vanessa? How to deal with a family Christmas where we all need to eat gluten-free for one person who's got celiac disease. For those of you who aren't aware, Currently, Vanessa Felt and This Morning are trending for this little segment on yesterday's episode in which they did a phone-in and someone called in and said, look, uh, got to go around to someone's house for Christmas. They have celiac disease, therefore we're all having to go gluten-free and me and my 15-year-old son are going to be there and we're not going to be able to eat anything. What should we do? And Vanessa Feltz tackles this in a sort of, oh, how inconvenient. Someone's got a disease. Isn't that... Well, almost actually like it's irresponsible of them to have such a condition. I mean, this is, I mean, Alison, I'm 100% on your side on this. It's absolutely ridiculous. So Alison's mother-in-law has got them coming for Christmas. And because one person has to be gluten-free, she's insisting that they're all gluten-free, including uh, Alison's 15-year-old, who's a bit of a fussy eater. And when Alison said, can, can we bring our own food then? You know, just can he bring food in a snack box? She said no. So she's treating celiac disease as, some, as if it's a kind of fatal, potentially fatal peanut allergy and that they can't have anything with gluten in the house, which is completely unreasonable. Now, I appreciate when you have to prepare food. It is irritating if people make requests about certain things they can and can't eat because they have chosen a certain diet. And that's the difference here. Now, some people choose not to eat meat. Some people choose not to eat gluten, flour, etc., what have you. Some people choose to be vegan. But when you have a condition such as celiac disease, it is a disease, and you don't choose it, it's just something that you may have. And I actually know a guy who has celiac disease, and I remember talking to him about it once, because he had to keep having, like, snacks at really weird times whenever I was out with him. He'd suddenly have to stop and have a special snack of some sort to keep his body in check. And I remember asking him, well, what happens if you have, like, gluten and stuff? And he said, well, for me, if I have a tiny bit of gluten, he said, that's my entire day on the toilet, in the bathroom, vomiting and doing other stuff as well. And he said it's absolutely horrific. And I did feel for him. I thought, gosh, imagine having to live life where just a tiny bit of something can affect your health for several hours, if not days. Just a tiny, tiny bit of something that those of us who don't have celiac disease eat all the time. So I don't really like the approach here, and neither does Celiacs UK, the charity who look after and you know tend to garner most of the information about the disease in the UK. They've written an open letter to ITV at, at demanding that ITV retract what was said on the program. That is not reasonable, Alison, at all. The thing is, though, if you say to her, look, you know, he can have gluten-free, we don't have to, it's not catching, what will she say? How will she respond? Um, she'll tell me that, that I'm ignorant to the facts and tell me to read up on it. But you're not, and she's wrong. I mean, she's just unequivocally yeah. wrong about that, completely yeah. wrong. Either way, the problem here is that it was just wrong information. We have to be really careful. Cross-contamination with people who have severe, severe issues can be a huge problem. I'm sure if you've worked in education, you'll know that there are some kids who have these horrific peanut allergies and carry the EpiPen, and if they get one whiff of peanut, that's it. They go into potentially anaphylactic shock, and you have to be ready with their pen to revive them if need be. So some people do have severe issues when it comes to certain foods, and I don't begrudge them that. Yes, it can be annoying if everyone has to sacrifice, but isn't it worth it to not affect the health of someone else? And let's be honest, I'm sure you can still enjoy food that's gluten-free. I'm sure there's lots of options that are gluten-free, and, you know, just suck it up. It's one day, it's Christmas Day, the next day, they'll all be gone, you can eat what you like. Do you know what I mean? And also, the mum talking about her 15-year-old son who's a fussy eater, I'm like, you know what? I'm sorry, but he can't be a fussy eater the rest of his life. I mean, surely, we've all been told by our parents, you're going to Granny so-and-so's house today, whatever she puts in front of you, eat. And when you're told to do that, you do it. Even if you don't like it, you do it, because you have to be polite. You can't be a fussy eater all your life and go through life just 
not eating stuff because, oh, it doesn't look very nice. But I, I, it's weird because there's an irony there, isn't there? She's calling in to say, well, I don't want to have lunch with people because it's all going to be gluten-free. At the same time saying, my son won't eat anything, he's too fussy. Well... And he can't find a single thing on the buffet to eat because he won't eat anything that doesn't have gluten? That's a bit extreme as well. Oh, he is really fussy. We've had terrible trouble with him over the years. Oh, for goodness okay, sake. Well, uh, he's going he's gonna to have to just yeah, take he, his ways a little bit. He but will. He'll have, to, he'll have to be a bit more yeah. grown up than usual and he'll have to put up with it. And it's, um, they can't yeah. have any cross-contamination, though, if they're celiac, can they? Or? Well, yeah, but they don't have to have cross-contamination, especially if they bring their own food from home and a 15-year-old yeah. has what he yeah. actually likes, which he brings in the snack box, which would be perfectly fine. Also, a rather frivolous note here, but what has happened to Josie's face? Just back from the jungle, back on this morning, and I'm not one to comment on a woman's makeup, but I do not understand that look. I really don't. I, I honestly tuned in to the clip and I thought, is that actually Josie? W what is that? But there we go. She's a, she's a nice woman, I like her, but I don't get that makeup, guys. Anyway, what do you think about this? Are you someone who suffers from celiac disease? H how did you feel about this segment? being on live television, that's the problem. Millions of people potentially watching, getting the wrong end of the stick. Do you think they're taking the right action here? Do you think this morning should do a public apology on air? Let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.